Next Saturday, former NFL head coach Don Coriel will finally be inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Joining us right now to talk about his, this achievement is his daughter, Mindy Coriel Lewis. Mindy, good morning. It's so nice to meet you. Good morning. It's nice Thanks to be here. In. I want to, there's so many different directions we could go with this interview. I know. But I know. Talk to us about, I want to first talk to you, to, to you about um, your dad as a coach and your memories from those days. And then I want to talk about be just him being a dad. Okay. So what, what, are, okay. what are your fondest memories here in San Diego when your father was a head coach of the Chargers? Well, it was fun. Everybody knew me before I walked into a room type thing. You know, I, 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 when we moved back from St. Louis, uh, everybody knew who I was even before I had been enrolled in school. Cool. So, so it was just, it was like my own little bit of celebrity. Yeah. But, <laughs> but it was just... It was such an exciting time. It was just amazing. It was just so much fun to move back yes. to to Saint Lu or, um, to San Diego, and and because of his legacy for, at San Diego State, it mm -hmm. was just really exciting. Yeah, and it twelve was, years he coached at State. Yes, then, and that was my whole years growing up right. from when I was born until we moved to St. Louis. I was twelve, so that was I was born right when he started at San Diego State. And you got to be witness to and a part of the whole process when your dad literally turned the team around, the San Diego Chargers. Yeah, yeah, um, just exciting times. I mean, it was just, it seemed like that's all people talked about. It just. <laughs> yeah, it was big. <laughs> yeah. Do you still yeah. have your Charger Power t-shirt? No, I don't. I wish I did. <laughs> Remember? I oh, so do that I. vintage t-shirt. I wish I had it. Those yeah. were great. Yeah. Now, we have the, every single year when they announce that he didn't make the Hall of Fame, we're up in arms, a lot of us who, who watched him and know what he did. What was it like for you to find out that he finally, 27 years after he retired? Well, if you ask my husband, it's completely different than when you ask me. I, I am the philosophy that it'll happen. It's meant to happen and it will happen. So I always knew, okay, so this year, okay, we get to go back and and go through this again and learn from what, you know, so I'm, I was okay with it. He, on the other hand, was not. He, he thought, oh no, he was, you know, it's the end of the world, right. you know. But um, it, it was, of course, it's like womp womp, you know, and you don't get that knock on the door, you get a phone call instead, and it's like, loser, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, but I think, I think a, lot of, a lot of younger people, uh, football fans, don't realize the mark he left, the game we watch today, your dad had so much to do with. Absolutely. Because leading up to that time, the tight end was considered like an extension of the offensive line and a blocker, and your dad said, wait a second, these guys are eligible to catch balls, and he, he, he uh, drafted, a tight end out of Missouri named Kellen Winslow. and I remember him coming home that day and really? saying, I've got this kid. You won't believe him. He's huge. He's so talented and smart. You know, and, um, oh, I remember him coming home and oh, telling us. That's... And he didn't really bring stuff home very often other than saying, oh, that guy's a really good guy or I just, you know, really like him or whatever. But he was excited about Kellen. Yeah. yeah, I'll bet, because the, yeah. the, the balance he put into the offense, the modern West Coast offense we know today, you're, he's the architect of it. Yeah. And he deserves to be in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Are you going to be there Saturday? I am going to be there. Yes, I am so excited. I, I've been packed for a week. <laughs> right. And Dan Fouts is going to present, right? Yes, yes. Who, so who he's you've, my... known, you've known since you were little. Yes, yeah. He's he's my rock. I know he's got my back. I'm, I'm, I feel so confident with him being right there yeah uh, it's gonna be great yeah we talk on the phone like it twice a week wow you know yeah wow yeah. that's so cool yeah now talk about Don Coriel as your dad oh my gosh oh he was he was adorable he was so cute um, but also very strict so like I couldn't date until I was 16 the night before my went oh so <laughs> cute that. Um, the night before my wedding, I had to be home by midnight, but I was only 19 years old. Uh -huh. But still, I mean, you know, that, that was just, I had rules and I followed them. I'm, I'm still a rule follower. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, these are great pictures. And that picture of, of, of you. That was right after a Charger game. 
So we were back relaxing. Uh, my husband and my dad probably had just gotten Chinese food and we had just eaten it. And so <laughs> we're just, that was our tradition. You really? know, we, after the game, especially after a win. Yeah. You know, my husband and, and uh, my dad would go get Chinese food and then we would um, sit and eat it and then sit around and watch 60 Minutes or something. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's oh, a great yeah. picture. And you've been home by, by so midnight. So the night before that, I had to be <laughs> home by midnight, yeah. <laughs> that is fantastic. <laughs> And wow. that's up in San Juan Island, my mom and my dad. Yeah. Now, when your dad retired, didn't he move up to the Pacific? Yeah. Because he, he was born in Seattle. Right, right. And so he was uh, on a cruise with uh, Dave Ball, of all people, from Dave Ball Oldsmobile at uh -huh. the time. Uh -huh. And um, uh, they were on his yacht, and they were uh, cruising through the San Juan Islands. And my dad said, I've got to move up here. This is gorgeous. So he bought a little piece of land and built a house. And my brother has the house, and he's living up there. No kidding. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And he also, a lot of people don't know, he, I mean, he, when he graduated high school, World War II was right in the middle of it, pretty much. And right. he immediately went into the U.S. Army. Yes, yes. He was a... a I forget what they called it, but he was a paratrooper. Yeah, he was a paratrooper. He would, he would uh, jump out of the planes on skis mm -hmm. or whatever, and then and he trained the guys and um, yeah, he yeah. he was. U.S. Army 10th Mountain Division. Oh, thank you. Yes. So you know more than I do. <laughs> hey, man, the Google, I'll tell you. No, I've been, you're, he's got quite a Wikipedia page. And it's, yeah. it's been fun for me to go back preparing oh. for this interview to uh -huh. remember all of these things that oh, happened. But okay. uh, the you at the Hall of Fame? Yes. Oh, you are. I am giving the speech. Is it all yeah. written out? It has. I was up late, late last night because I'm told it's too long. <laughs> really? Got to <laughs> so ed edit. So I'm editing and, oh, gosh, it's so hard. Just I've read got fast. this whole section of, of um, John Madden that I wanted to put in there, and I don't know. I think John's getting cut, unfortunately. Really? You knew John. Yeah, yeah. It, he was on your dad's Okay, stuff, I'll tell right? what I was going to talk about. Okay, when, sure. when my my most vivid memory when I was a little girl, I'm sitting on the um, living room floor playing with my toys or whatever, and so here's little Mindy, and here's a big young new newly hired John Madden, huge. He had to duck through to go through our front door, and I'm sure he would have fit normally, but I think it's just habit. But I just remember him just enveloping the whole space of the front door. And that was like my first memory of meeting him when I was a little girl. Cause I, he, I, I don't think his wife had moved down yet. You know, he had just been hired. So he was coming over for dinner. Do you remember his voice? He had that oh, such yeah. a unique distinctive. Oh yeah, but really. he was he was gentle and yeah. and you know, not what you saw on TV. Well, my dad wasn't what you see, saw on TV either, you know. Your dad always um, had that look on his face, that like grimace. But he was not like that at right, home. Right. Completely different than that. Wow. Yeah. We are so happy that he's finally being inducted. We're so happy for you that you get to be there and give the speech. Yeah. With Dan Fouts right there next to you. Yeah. Send wow. those good vibes, please. Yeah. Oh, we, we are. We are. All right. Mindy Coriel Lewis, thank you so much thank for joining you. us. Thank you. This it's was a, fun. It's a thrill to meet you. It really Thank is. you. All right.